<laughs> Look at those magnificent particles! Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. So today we're taking a look at the Arcane Scrolls mod. This is a very, very interesting mod that adds in a huge wide variety of scrolls. We have offensive scrolls, we've got defensive scrolls, we've got utility scrolls, scrolls of all kinds. Um, and right here I have made a huge list of all of our scrolls and I'll go through most of them. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through all of them because some of them are kind of self-explanatory, but, uh, there's actually some items that you guys need before actually getting into the scrolls. And first I'm going to show you guys kind of how to make your scrolls and the stuff you need in order to actually craft your scrolls and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so into our first crafting recipe here, we have only three to go through. Um, first off, we've got our Arcane Tome. Now this is the book that you guys need to actually um, get all of your scrolls. So right now, um, we have our table of contents with all of our different scrolls here. And if you hit this little right arrow key over here, it brings you guys through all of your different scrolls. Now, if you guys aren't a really high level, you're not going to be seeing the names of these scrolls. So the only reason I can see them right now is because, as you guys can tell, I am level 28. And through the book, it says for these certain enchantments and scrolls, you guys need to be level 10, level 5, um, you know, certain level requirements for each scroll. So if I was to go all the way over here, um, you guys can see I'm not level 50, so I cannot see the names of these scrolls. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So that's kind of how that works. Now, for each of these scrolls, you guys need a certain amount of items. Now, these items are uh, your quills and your um, unwritten scrolls. So to craft your quills, you guys just need your ink sack and a feather. That will give you four uh, quills. And then we also have our unwritten scroll, which will give you guys... Well, we have our, un <laughs> our unwritten scroll, which is produced with just two paper. Alright guys, so to actually craft the scrolls yourself, you're going to need the three items I just showed you guys how to craft. So first off, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your Arcane Tome, and you're going to want to make your way into the list of all the spells here. Now, depending on what level you are, kind of shows what spell you're able to do. So right now, I'm level like 14 or 15, I think, so I'm able to do all the levels up to 15. I can't do these scrolls that are like level 23 and 25, and they kind of appear in like alien talk if you're not the highest level enough to do it. So that's kind of how that works, but let's go ahead and choose to do the scroll of cooking, or the scroll of smelting, should I say. I've already unlocked the scroll of cooking. So we're going to do the scroll of smelting. It's going to take 10 levels from us, and you can see I'm not level 14 or whatever anymore. Um, so we're going to go all the way to the right of our arcane tome over here, and it's now going to say um, scroll of smelting right here. So over on the right hand side of the book here we have our materials and how much I have in my inventory. And at the bottom you guys can see there's like a little scroll times zero. And that's because we haven't told it how many to produce. So we're going to hit this little arrow right below that and it's going to say one, two, three, however many scrolls you guys want. Um, you guys can kind of designate that. And once you've specified how many scrolls you want, all you got to do is just click the specific scroll that you want it to turn into. So here we're going to go ahead and do scroll of smelting and it goes right into your inventory and there you guys go. That's how you make your scrolls. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all of the scrolls that come along with this mod. I'm not going to actually show you guys what they do because that would take me forever. But I am going to show you guys the offensive scrolls which are probably the coolest in my opinion within this mod. So we have our utility scrolls here. The scroll of vit vitality. Man. <laughs> Off topic. Heals. 5.5 hearts, we've got the scroll of nourishment, which heals 5.5 chicken nuggets. Cleansing removes all po potion effects. Smelting smelts all smeltable items in your inventory. We have cooking, which cooks all cookable items in your inventory. Vigor, which increases movement and mining speed for 30 seconds. Ascension, which teleports you to the nearest free space. We have descension, which teleports you to the nearest space below you. And over here we've got our offensive scrolls, which are like the ones that kill mobs and all that kind of stuff. We have fire, sets all entities within 16 blocks on fire. Anguish, which is kind of like the one I used in the beginning of the video, harms all mobs within 16 blocks. Thunder strikes all mobs within 16 blocks with lightning. Affliction poisons all mobs within 16 blocks. Um, we have strength, which increases your damage for 30 seconds. And then over here we have our defensive scrolls, which kind of provides you guys with defenses and stuff against other mobs. We have sluggishness, which slows all mobs within 16 blocks. Okay, <laughs> someone someone had a typo here. Um, I think this is, okay, here it is. Resilience, that's what I was trying to type, but someone was <laughs> being Rezukizabuki. So yeah, the Rezukabe uh, scroll gives you guys 30 seconds of protection. That was kind of, get out of here. Anyway, <laughs> we have the Scroll of Force, which pushes all mobs away from you within 16 blocks. 
cloaking invisibility for 15 seconds. We have endurance for super regeneration for 15 seconds. Aid, which spawns a wolf tamed to you. Oblivion kills all mobs within 16 blocks. And last but not least, we have teleportation, and that teleports you to a set teleanchor. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to set a teleanchor and to how to actually use your teleportation scroll. So first off, you guys are obviously going to want to set a uh, teleanchor. So how to do that is first open up your arcane tome, go all the way to the end of the book, and uh, you'll find this page called the Make a Teleanchor. So what this essentially does is it picks up the coordinates that you're standing on right now, and as you guys can tell, I'm standing on top of a... Uh, lapis lazuli pillar so I'm gonna go ahead and call this anchor um, just lapis and I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter and it's gonna add it to our list of tele anchors here so once you've done that you're gonna go off your tele anchor obviously and just pretend like you're gonna go off and play some minecraft so okay I'm gonna go off and go to the mine see a lapis pillar <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here and pretend I want to teleport back to my lapis pillar here I'm gonna open up my book go all the way to the end and you guys have to make sure you have your scroll of teleportation in your inventory when you do this and just click lapis insufficient charges all right so what that means is that you guys need to get another arcane stone so just plug your arcane stone and by the way you do need your arcane stone for everything within this mod so make sure you have it in your inventory i just accidentally cleared my inventory so that's what happened there so make your way all the way again to the back of your book click your tele anchor to wherever you want to go and there you go you go to your tele anchor that you set which we just set like one or two minutes ago so that's kind of how that works. And last but not least, I did want to show you guys how the offensive scrolls look. Because I do think they're pretty cool. And I did want to show you guys some of the scrolls within this mod. So here we go. We've got our creepers. And first off, we've got our scroll of fire. So here's our scroll of fire. It just adds fire to our creepers. Obviously, some awesome particle effects here. As you guys know, particle effects are probably one of the best features, in my opinion, in Minecraft. So I uh, always love that. So we've got the scroll of fire, we've got the scroll of anguish, which obviously just does um, damage to them. We've got the scroll of thunder, which obviously just strikes our, our creepers here with lightning, which is really cool, makes them super. We also have the scroll of affliction, which makes them poisoned, so we can go ahead and do that. And then last but not least, we have the scroll of strength, which gives me um, just a strength bonus for 30 seconds. And those are pretty much the offensive scrolls within this mod. Obviously, like I showed you guys, there's a ton more scrolls to go along with this mod, which are kind of a little bit more self-explanatory. And they all have really cool particle effects, so I highly recommend you guys go check out this mod. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Arcane Scrolls mod. Like always, I'll have a link to this mod in the description. If you guys would be so kind to take half a second to leave a rating, that would be awesome as well. And uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. But other than that, me and the particle effects of this awesome mod will uh, talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day. Peace! We hook it up on the bi weekly fry flip five levels of beach. So on the real, on the real, on the real, on the level feels good to be back. So what the deal, what the deal, what the deal, what's doing, where the fuck y'all like? at? And on the real, on the real, on the real, can't put my finger on that, but sometimes I get this feeling that I never, never, never.